Howdy folks, this is John from Boondockery. Last year I made a New Year's video and I talked a little bit about the challenges that we had in 2020 and I spoke of hope for the future and 2021 I've, I've had a lot of enjoyment uh, wild camping bushcrafting I've really enjoyed uh, producing videos and things like that over the past year um, however I believe that my hopes for certain things to improve um, at least in our country but definitely the world um, um, they didn't as a matter of fact I think a lot of things got a lot worse um, I, I am not one to uh, push politics religion, any of those things. As a matter of fact, I try to avoid those for the most part. I know I allude to certain things every once in a while uh, while I'm shooting videos. So you, you probably got a pretty good idea as to where I'm coming from and, and where I stand and what kind of person I am as far as those things go. Um, and I don't want this channel to be about that. I want this channel to be um, sharing bushcrafting, wild camping, and sometimes just to have fun. I shot a, a video and published it with my grandson, uh, trying out his, his, his uh, Christmas uh, camp um, cooking stuff. And it was just fun. And I think we need a lot of that. And just because I do those things, d don't assume that I'm blinding myself to what's going on in the world around me. Just because I'm not talking about it or beating you over the head about it, that, you know, I'm not concerned about these things because I am. And um, I think that what's going on today, something's got to change. So, something radically has to change in a lot of ways. And um, the only thing I can say is I've got to remain diligent. I, I have to be clear minded and focused on actual reality. I don't watch network news. I, I don't watch Fox News. I, I don't go to those news sources to get news. And um, the sources I go to, I get actual news. The kind of news that we used to watch on television in the evenings. Back when Walter Cronkite uh, was still you know, broadcasting. You received the facts as we knew them. And then that was it. If they found out something else later on, they'd do an update. But it wasn't people pontificating and speculating and you know, getting on their soapbox and banging you over the head with uh, jibber jabber and verbal garbage. And um, I miss those days. But I've got a few news sources that I, I follow that actually do give me the news. And um, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's absolutely been a crazy year. Absolutely been a crazy year. If, if I would have to um, title 2021, I would, I would title it 2021, the year of lies and gross abuse of power. That would be how I would title it. But you know what, folks? I've gotten through January 1st to today, which is December 31st, and I've done well. I try to put that stuff out of my head. I don't dwell on it. But that doesn't mean I'm not thinking about it. I don't dwell on it. I take it for what it is, and I make decisions based on the reality that I exist in to deal with those things. Just because I'm not talking about it doesn't mean I'm not thinking about it and acting on it. But I had a lot of fantastic things happen in 2021 because I was focused on the things that I can do things about. And I've shared my talents, I've shared my gifts, I've shared my time, I've shared my love, 
I've shared my compassion. I've shared my friendship. Those are things that are important. Not the hype they're trying to force feed us and the lies they're trying to shove down our throats. I focus on the good things. And just like last year, I do have hopes that 2022 will be a much better year. I'm going to remain vigilant. I'm going to remain positive. I'm going to trust in my God. And I'm going to get through whatever 2022 throws at us. But 100% of everything that's good about the you know, coming year, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to hold it tight and I'm going to enjoy it for everything it's worth. Yeah. I don't like uh, talking this way on my, on my video. I, do, I, don't, I don't like being there. So this will be the end of it. Just like 2021, I'm going to put it behind me. Enjoy the good stuff, forget the bad stuff. At least, I'll remember the stuff I'm supposed to and work to counter that. But this video, once this is done, once this is published, you won't hear me talk about it anymore. You won't hear me mention those things. What you are going to see in 2022 is as much wild camping, bushcrafting, and fun content that I can put out there. I love you guys. I love the fact that you've supported me, that you share in the comments, that you encourage, and that you are just good, kind, loving human beings. There's nothing else I could ask more out of this channel. Doing the videos have been fun. Getting out in the woods have been fun. But connecting with you guys. Learning a little bit about you with each comment. Sharing ideas. Sharing experiences. Talking and discussing. I've absolutely loved it. And I'm sincerely looking forward to more of that in 2022. Folks, I send my love. I send my humble gratitude. And no matter what, folks, no matter what comes, we're going to get through this next year and we're going to hold on to everything that's good about it. And we're going to work through anything that's bad. And we can do that together. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching this year. Deeply appreciate it. Until next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.